Sh- should we pat ourselves on the back now against everybody that said we were wrong or not? Or just. I mean, I've got the lobster in the pot right now. It should be done in a minute. <laughs> uh, so it's officially happened. They did exactly what we said they're going to do right when everything hit. We're like, so Disney Plus is going to get a premium tab. And um, yeah, 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 yeah. Disney Plus is yeah. getting a premium tab. Mulan is going to be the first one of what they say is just a, a uh, one-off. <laughs> a one-off. <laughs> Shut up, Chappie. Oh. Yeah. All right. He, he, what he's saying. So that's a clear-cut lie. And oh, if, yeah, yeah, if you yeah. wanted to really sell it as a one-off, you should have just brought out Kevin Feige to smile and lie the way he does when he says, "Oh, this if... is just coincidence." <laughs> If it was a one-off, it wouldn't be on Disney+. Plus. Exactly. They wouldn't be making an entire new tab for a one-off. Yeah. It's like, there's no way. Everyone knows it's not a one-off because their stock shut up 11%. Right. So, like, it's... No, I understand why he's clearly lied. Because you, you don't want to spook the theatre chains even more than you have. Mm-hmm. Admittedly, they have said, you know... What was it America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand? All right, shut up. Most of Western <laughs> Europe is going to get it. I hopefully that means the UK, uh, please. Mm-hmm. But then where they can open up, it's going to be in theaters. So it's it, kind of like we're doing the theater things. It's kind of day and day, but it's not day and day how and, you would expect. And honestly, my prediction is within about, I would say probably two to three weeks after the theatrical and once they see how theatrical is doing and once disney plus gets the bulk of it they're just going to drop it on itunes and everywhere else as well and just be like all right we're going to recoup all see, the I money now i don't know i don't, don't know if you do that no no, hmm. no. i mean because you... you you think look at how well hamilton did for that service. true yeah that's true you you look at that why you you put mulan on there and like i know people are like pissing themselves screaming and crying that it's too expensive and no one's going to do it you're you're going to look a bit dumb when this thing absolutely destroys oh god yeah yeah because they have what 60 million subs at this point yeah <laughs> there, there, there's only, if you put all that together that's only six million people in the uk who don't have disney plus Dude, they are four years yes. ahead of subscribers four years mm-hmm. understand now, that the, people COVID probably played a massive part in that. <laughs> hey, but... An absolutely massive part in it. It doesn't matter, though. They're still four years ahead. Is the main thing. They still have content people want to watch, and apparently like 90% of people are still like and... carrying over from the free stuff. So... And if you like look at some of the number crunching that's happening, 60 million. If only 10 million of those people buy Mulan, it will already make 100 million in profit. So... I, say, I think they only need about... Oh, someone said on my Twitter the other day how much they need for like 800 million or so, or like even just like 480 or something. Mm-hmm. I think it's like 15 to 20 million. And the thing now with it is the marketing budget has been completely removed from it because they didn't do that last um, six week push because, again, it's. No, because they never really started, did it? Exactly. It never really kicked off. So, so those numbers got to be far lower, which obviously the people already started speculating. When this happens, when this thing is massive and it makes a ton of money, mm-hmm. which it will. Oh, it will. Uh, and you can trust it because guess he's been right for the last five months. Yeah. <laughs> Every step of the way. You're welcome. So what do you think? First week of October, we're getting the announcement of Black Widow. Yeah. Yeah. Around that. Because the Marvel series are not coming. That's they openly said in that they're like, no, we still got shooting to do. You got to drop something. We'll we'll find out more about that soon because they're doing another investors for that sort of stuff. So we'll we'll, we'll get a definitive answer what exactly is happening with all that. Right, right in the next couple of weeks. Oh, it's it's honestly but, it, it's industry changing again. When Disney jumps on it, you know it's shifting in a new direction because. Them and WB are typically the last ones to give in to something like this because, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, like they're resistive to change. That's kind of been their whole thing. So, also, it came out when, um, right after the whole Universal AMC thing, there was people going, Oh, Disney's apparently hesitant to do this because, and it's like, Well, clearly they weren't because look what they just did, right? Well, I, some part of this has to play a response to that as well because it's like, Oh, AMC wants to partner with 
Universal, huh? Hmm. Our biggest rival that made us pay more and more by outbidding us for Fox? Okay, well, we'll strike back by going, fine, turn us away, AMC. We'll just have our service here. So, like, there's defi definitely that corporate war between the two right now, and you're definitely sensing that in the business models and everything. And yeah, yeah. I, I think this is significant because if we get the announcement, and who knows if they're going to confirm, if Mulan does tremendously well, they'll make those numbers public. I think oh, after that, it, if they announce that a Black Widow or maybe Free Guy or something is going to another thing like this, it's officially the future. It, it, it will is a be. business model, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah if, she, if she put it this way, I found a tweet. If like half of their subs spend the $30, and people will spend the $30 or oh, yeah. 30 pounds, Canadian dollars, whatever monopoly money you use, wherever you're from, if only half of their subs do it, that is just shy of 900 million. <laughs> That's 900 million they keep. <sighs> they haven't got a split between the theaters. They haven't got a split between the, the international markets. That's 900 million that they keep. Yeah. That's if half of them do it. And you, it's guaranteed at least half are going to do it. And don't forget, in three months... I say guaranteed. That's a bit... <laughs> right. And like, again, don't forget, you keep it for 30 bucks. You're not just renting it. And in yeah, three months, yeah. they can go, hey, guys, it's 10 bucks off. And Yeah, because the price will come down. Oh, Make totally. no mistake, but the price will come down. Like, and I know pe people are going like, oh, so you're paying for the privilege of having to pay for the streaming service. Like, you can tell. Like, over here, Sky is the biggest thing in Europe for TV. You pay for Sky, you, pay, you can pay like 80 quid a month to have access to everything. You still have Sky Store. Mm -hmm. We don't get movies on there. Like Captain Marvel, we won't be able to watch that for free on Sky until the Christmas. Oh, yeah. Because you have to pay, like, physical prices for well, that movie. It's like... It's absolutely... Okay. Amazon Prime. You buy yep. that, you're still having to pay for half their library. It, exactly. Like, I, I don't understand why people are just focusing on this. Like, it, like for example, if you watch like tnt because i watch it every wednesday there's pro wrestling and stuff they're just now advertising oh coming to tnt justice league and solo i'm like what like mm. just now like and that's part of that wb deal because tnt's under that you know wing and it's like oh but on demand because i have like hulu live tv i can go to like the tnt thing and i can then rent through them and they give me a small little thing i'm like it's the same exact thing for all these other services. Like literally, like you said, Amazon Prime. Like it's, there's no difference here. Just that they understand the value of Disney's IP are the most highly valued entertainment properties in the world. And they understand yeah. that and they will price it accordingly. And I know this for a fact because after a Disney Blu-ray releases, go to your local Best Buy or something and look at the sticker price that's $49.99 us american dollars for a new one and the shelves are empty so mm -hmm. again I, and disney have always known that their stuff sells because yep. that's why they always took it away for years exactly you had like what was it seven years out one year in or something like that mm -hmm. they always timed it and it always sold out always <laughs> they, they, don't, they don't do it anymore but if you go back 20 years and even like to the 90s they always did that always did it but um, I, I don't know if this will ever be free on Disney+. Plus. I, <laughs> See, that's an interesting one, this, isn't it, this, right? This is, this is the issue. Like, will it ever be free? Like, If it is free, fair enough. They did it with um, Onward, where it's like, hey, but Onward is slightly different because that was in other places. And it's like you can buy it, and then two weeks later it's on Disney+. Plus. Mm -hmm. Because they, they say you'll have it for as long as you have your Disney Plus account. Well, I should hope so, because if it's eventually going to be free, then it's always going to be there. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a... Mm, like, it's, they, they didn't really specify how this is working. Yeah, because it's like when Black Widow inevitably ends up on the service and I buy it day one to watch it, are the people that don't buy it in six months, like they've said before, oh, we're going to put our movies on our service in three to six months, are they going to get it in three to six months? Like, mm. you know, there's but even a lot then, of questions like, I, in there. 
But even then, I haven't got a problem with that because it's Same. literally no different. The, the only difference is timing, in my example. But you could buy The Last of Us, uh, hypothetically, and then it's on PSN+. Plus. Yep. But you, you still get people crying about that. It's like, well, why are you crying? You chose to buy it at that point. You, it was always a possibility it was going to be on PS+. Plus. Mm-hmm. But it's literally no different to that example. And people still do it. That makes a fortune. You know, oh, people God, yeah. cry about DLC. It makes a fortune. Mm-hmm. So... No, people people are going to buy this. I know you can get like, oh no, you're not even going to get like two million people buy it. It's like, no, you are, dude. Like, just because you don't want to do it doesn't mean people are. Trolls buy it. Two sold like five million copies in its first week or some ridiculous amount. You don't yeah. think Mulan <laughs> is going to sell more than five million? Are you insane? It's <laughs> Mulan. Like, it, it, come on, guys. Like, <sighs> when was the last time? Uh, a Disney remake made less than a billion. I know it was Dumbo. I was going to say like Dumbo like, and that's it? <laughs> that, was like, that was like three movies ago. Yeah. Like, even the bad ones have done a billion. Like, Aladdin wasn't great, did a billion. Lion King, people were mixed on it. Made bank. Like People were going, oh, but she's pro-China in the Mulan girl. So she's not. That came out that she was kind of pressured to sell it by the government. Of course. So <laughs> like, why anyone would believe that? Like... No, no one likes China. Not even the Chinese like China. I mean, it's, it, for that point, it's just the China is just being China. Like a yeah. lot of, a lot of, like, a lot of the stuff that you Wait, liked the about the yeah. yeah, it's it. like a lot of stuff you liked about the anime one. You can just blame China for it. If you don't want to watch the movie, don't watch it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, and people will watch it. <laughs> like they say they're not, and it's like, oh, but everyone's gonna pirate. It's like the people who pirate are like point one of a percent. Yeah, oh one pirates. It's as simple as that. You can go in there and see thousands of people pirating it, but look in the grand scheme of things. You compare like the 20,000 it says on some things to the 60 million subscribers that Disney Plus has. Exactly. Like, are you even going to notice? Yeah. P- uh, again, it's the, the bubble mentality. Oh, because yeah. I pirate and my friend does, that means everybody does. I'm like, no. Like, out of all my friends I talk to and everybody I know, maybe three people they download everything and that's just how they are like you know it, it's just kind of how it is like it, it's the convenience if you make it convenient enough and people do have money they'll be like yeah sure why not i'll do it yeah. and i mean that's and especially in today's climate there hasn't been a summer movie season there isn't gonna be one mm-hmm. people want something new exactly people have disney plus if they don't have disney plus guess what they're gonna get they're yeah. gonna get Disney Plus. They're gonna spend the forty dollars because it is gonna be forty roughly by the time they actually sign up to it. There's no free trials anymore. So Simon, <laughs> they will absolutely get that money. Yeah, it's it's huge. Um, now when it comes to like the MCU films that undoubtedly are gonna go here, uh, I think this is gonna also spell a big change for everything going down the road because just. I mean, just think of it then. You're going to have the films that you can buy. You're going to have the TV shows. I think they're honestly positioning themselves in a huge boost. Because imagine how happy those investors are going to be that just heard about $60 million when they go, yeah, so $20 million bought Mulan and we're expecting, oh, a good portion to do uh, you know, this and that. Like, They're going to see the viability of backing that service even more. And I think it's mm. just going to continue to just snowball in that direction. So... I'm personally, I'm honestly okay with it because I'm not ready to return. To, I'm not ready to return to a theater anytime no, soon. No, like, no, no. And, and the majority of people aren't. No. I know people say they want to go back. They don't. They really don't. It's been proven time and time again. You open, you open it up, they don't go. Mm-hmm. It's as simple as that. It's going to happen. This isn't going to kill theaters. So no. Relax. Now, I, I do want to bring it up. New Mutants, for the love of God. <laughs> they, they don't care about that movie. They're going to put it out. They're going to give it to HBO Max. HBO Max will get rid of it in two weeks. They'll have it on Disney+. Plus. Oh, boy. Here comes Peacock to swim in and get that. <laughs> Just like all the Harry oh, wow. Potters and Batmans. <laughs> Who would have thought? The Peacock is 2020's greatest villain. Oh, <laughs> boy. What a, what a time Imagine... to be alive in 2020. Imagine buying HBO Max for Harry Potter and then oh. the Peacock's... The oh. peacock swoops. It pecks the butter. God damn! What a what a time. So, 
I mean, everybody in the comments, let us know, are you going to be picking up Muon? You know, when it obviously comes out on the... They're all going to say no, and then act like that means that they're right, and then Mulan's going to come out, and it's going to make...